Hey, what is going on, Indianapolis? I'm Tolan. I am Big Ben. We are the Do It Indie Guys. Welcome to this week's top five urban events going on for the week of January 2nd through the 8th, 2012. Happy, Happy New Year. Year! Yes, it is a new year. Lots of big things going on in our city this year and with Do It Indie, so be sure to stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get into this week's top five and the year's first top five. What's number five, Ben? All right. Five, five. Got five, five. Nice, man. They yep. have to perfect there. <laughs> All right. We have the Baggy Pants Burlesque Show at Beef and Boards Dinner Theater. Located and tucked in right inside the 465 Loop, northwest side by, right the, by the pyramids. pyramids right? All right. It is the burlesque show along with the dinner theater. Now, I'll tell you. Uh, if you've never been to Beef and Boards, it's a lot of fun. You get an awesome buffet, some great food, and you get some entertainment. So this is a burlesque show, probably for a little bit of an older crowd. Definitely. For but uh, it's a lot of fun, and it's something to spend a new year just doing, and it's a great time. So for more information and to purchase tickets, which range from $37 to $60, but remember, again, you get the food, the entertainment, and the fun. So that's just the best <laughs> trifecta. Visit www.beefandboards.com, and you can also find them on Facebook and Twitter. There you go, number five, Baggy Pants Burlesque, number four. Number four, it's first Friday time, and we're covering one that's called East Side Story. Be the East Side guys that we are, we had to throw this in here. Love it takes East place side. Friday, January 6th. Uh, 6 to 9 p.m. at the Harrison Center for the Arts. It's going to feature our East Side artist. Uh, she's a Little Flower resident named Susan Hodges. Uh, going to uh, feature her art and also art from Arsenal Tech students from uh, 1912 till 2012. So that's very interesting. They're also years. yeah, it's 100 years they're celebrating uh, their school. So they're also asking uh, people to bring art of their own from the East Side and you know photographs and you know whatnot that they can include in their uh, little. Uh, in the exhibition. Yeah, exactly. There, there you go. So they're also going to have soup from uh, Pogue Run Grocer from the east side. Food truck duos is going to be there, and also Sun King beer. So that's going to be a good party. It's going to be a free event, but of course you're going to have to pay for the food. So for more information, go to www.harrisoncenter.org. They're also on Facebook and Twitter too. So that's number four. All right. What's number three? All right, number three. <laughs> this Friday, January sixth, doors open at nine p.m. Sixteen candles at the Vogue. If you're a child of the 80s, kind of like we are, you love it. It's a good time and they, nothing like the 80s music. So 16 Candles is one of those bring them back the 80s retro pop bands. And uh, nothing like some good cover songs. Molly Ringwald so. was hot, too. Yeah. <laughs> yes, she was, man. She was. Tickets for this are $5. This is a 21 and older event. And this is at the Vogue Theater right at Broad Rope Avenue and College Avenue in the Broad Rope area of downtown. Not downtown, kind of outside. Broad Rope area. Broad Rope area, <laughs> thanks. For more information, visit www.thevogue.com. And you can also find them on Facebook and Twitter. So number three, 16 Candles this Friday night. Number two. Number two, we've got the 44th Annual Indy RV Show. This takes yeah. place January 7th through the 15th at the Indiana State Fairgrounds West Pavilion. Bigger they're going to have, uh, uh, have 120,000 square feet of RV, so if you're in the, into the outdoors camping type things, this is going to be a perfect thing for you and your family. Camping's uh, great. Camping is great, yeah. even if you don't have an RV. Build a fire. Uh, like a sleep right by the fire. Pass out by the fire. <laughs> uh, adults, it's going to be $7 for them to get in, and here's the key too, 16 and under is free, so it's a perfect wow. family event. Uh, for more information about this event, go to www.centralindianarvshow.com. So that's okay. number two. All right. What's number one? Number one, it's a big one. Hey, the Indie Winter Nights Film Series at the IMA. Hey, this Friday night through, when is it again? I don't know, we didn't put it February on. 24th. February 24th. Thank you, Tolan. <laughs> uh, every Friday night, you're going to be able to experience a movie from uh, the yesteryears, from the golden age of cinema, usually from the 1920s and the 1930s. This Friday night, they started off on the 6th with two movies, a uh, double movie package. You have The Black Pirate and Mystery of the Wax Museum, two, two old classics there. Uh, this costs $9 for the public, $5 for members of the IMA, 
And if you never went and experienced this, it's a lot of fun. This is not outside like the Summer Night series is, but obviously indoors in the theater, and it's a lot of fun. They have, uh, you know, concessions, you know, it's a little bit of, uh, you know, special things here and there. You never know what you're going to get when you go to uh, check out a film there. So the number one urban event of the week, <clears throat> excuse me, the Indy Winter Film Series. Uh, for more information and to purchase tickets, go to www.imamuseum.org, and you can also find them on Facebook and Twitter. So there you go, buddy. And as always, check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. Do it Indy, all one word. And on doitindy.com, coming at you very, very soon. In a hot hey, minute. In a hot second. <laughs> as always, Indianapolis, stay urban. And until next week, get out and do it Indy. Do it.